guys welcome to KNR project today I am going to the tutorial to connect a flame sensor to an Arduino uh, so the materials required here are Arduino a flame sensor buzzer LED few jumper wires and a lighter to give higher input to the flame sensor so now let's look at the flame sensor here there are four pins for this project we only need three pins and those three pins are BCC ground and analog pin so I am connecting now this BCC pin to the 5 volt in the Arduino. Secondly, the ground here should be connected to the ground in the Arduino. And the analog pin should be connected to the analog port in the Arduino. You can connect to the any of these analog port. I am connecting to the A2. So secondly, we have a buzzer here. Uh, there are two pins, a longer one and shorter ones. Longer one is a positive pin and shorter one is a negative pin. I am placing it in the breadboard. I uh, place it here. Now, the positive pin here, the long leg, should be connected to the digital pin. You can connect anywhere in digital port. I am connected to the pin 11. Secondly, the negative pin or shorter pin should be connected to the ground in the Arduino. And I am connecting it here. So lastly, we have a LED. This LED should be connected to the 13 and a ground in the Arduino. I place it here. So you can connect LED to anywhere else, but you got register to connect. Uh, so guys, our setup is complete. Now I'm connecting one end of adapter to the Arduino, and other we should connect to the PC. So guys, our setup is complete. This is the code for the project guys. As you can see here, I have declared LED pin, flame pin and boss pin constant because they won't be changed throughout the, pro throughout the project. And then I have assigned 200 to threshold and this will be the threshold value for our flame sensor. And then I have initialized the flame sense value in which the reading from the flame sensor will be stored later. Now let's go to the board setup. You can see here, I have assigned all the devices used to their pins according to their function. The pin mode for LED pin is output. The flame pin has the pin mode input and the boss pin has the pin mode output. Because the boss pin and the LED pin only provides us output whereas the flame pin provides us has to receive some input in order to provide us output. And now let's go to the void loop. On the void loop the flame sense value reads the data from the flame sensor and analog read is used here because the analog output pin of the flame sensor is assigned to the analog port on the Arduino and then the flame sensor value flame sense value is compared with the threshold value and if the condition is satisfied that is if the flame sensor receives some fire or it senses some fire then the LED pin will turn on and then the buzzer, buzzer produces some sound and the program is delayed for one, uh, one second and if the condition is not satisfied that the that is if the flame sensor does not receive any fire input then the LED will remain off and then buzzer does not produce any sound so this is the end of the prog program guys now let's connect the other end of the adapter of the Arduino to the PC so I am connecting the other end to the PC we have already connected one end to the Arduino. Now I have connected it to the PC and now let's upload the program. To upload the program you can see the arrow on the screen. I have already clicked it and one second I am clicking it. And after some time you can see done uploading on the screen. This means that the program has been uploaded. Okay guys now let's check whether our program works or not. I am providing file input through this slider. So, as soon as I provide file input, the LED and buzzer turns on. So, you can uh, make this file sensor more sensitive or less sensitive by adjusting the potentiometer right over here. So, let's check once again. So, our project is complete, guys. If you like our videos, please uh, do like, comment, and share. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.